Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, the Philly Mercedes driven to victory by top jockey Ricky Walcott in the Michael Parvicino Memorial Hopeful Breeder Stakes at the Garrison Savannah in Barbados. Odds on favorites dominate the weekend's main events at Jamaica's Caymana Spark Divine Force in the Linda de la Pena Memorial and Teflon Don in the Mercury Sprint before an exciting finish to the Ash Wednesday Trophy midweek feature. Plus the usual weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story this week, as it was last week, night racing in Barbados. Six runners entered for Saturday's Michael Parvicino Memorial Hopeful Breeder Stakes and Trophy feature. The six-horse Mercedes trained by Richard Dean with Ricky Walcott in the saddle, the heavy favorite for the 7.8 furlong trip coming off a win in December's Express Cash Trophy. Number one, Queen of the South, only a length and a quarter second to Mercedes in the Express Cash on Boxing Day, is the 72 second favorite. Number two, Moshara, is at 6 to 1. 5 to 1 on Brunei, a winner last time out. Number four, Showtime, is a 9 to 1 outsider. Premise, a winner on debut over five and a half furlongs on Boxing Day, is at 9 to 2. And Mercedes, the even money favorite in the combox for the Canada's first stakes race for native bred three year olds. Dean Springer picking them up mid race. Half mile completed in 51 and 4. Uh, Mercedes is just pointed short time. Queen of the South still in third. Moshar has found her best right as she comes a calling. Brunei has flattened out and we can safely discard premise inside the quarter pole they come. And it is Mercedes who's opened up by two and a half lengths now from on the outside. Queen of the South, Moshara is flattened out as Mercedes into the middle of the course. Inside the final for long they come, it's Mercedes on the left on drive. Queen of the South trying desperately. Mercedes, Queen of the South on the outside, Moshara. It's Mercedes in the middle of the course who's going to get home, wins the hopeful. Skillfully handled by jockey Ricky Walcott, who in the home stretch makes a switch from left hand whipping to right. He gets Mercedes to fend off challenges from Queen of the South on the inside and Moshara on his outside. Bred by Aston Martin out of the Janaki Mir Janak, Mercedes gives Walcott his third Michael Barfacino win in four years, having scored with 2021 upset winner Basil e. Gal and Afternoon Delight in 2022. Trainer Richard Dean, a repeat winner of the event, following up here on his triumph last year with Indelible. Owned by Curlin Felician and Stephen Jardine, the even money favorite Mercedes makes it three wins in five starts, taking the Grade 2 Michael Parvacino Memorial Hopeful Breeders by a length and a quarter over the 6 to 1 bet Mo Shara, closing well for second. Mercedes clocked 137 and 2 fifths for the 7.8 furlong trip. Let's check in now on two events from Jamaica's Cape Manus Park on Saturday. The first, the Mercury Sprint, run in honor of the 1972 champion two year old and the Linda de la Pena Memorial. That one honoring the late sportscaster who played top flight football in England in the 1950s. The Linda de la Pena Memorial feature had eight starters, none better supported in the betting than the ACK Stables four year old called Divine Force. After taking control down the back stretch on the jockey Tevin Foster, a clear leader here heading for the home stretch. They slip past the 716th, and it is Divine Force out in front, large and in charge, leaving the three with about an eight length gap opened up to I realize. Regal and Royal now sent in chase, moving best of the rest. The head cornerstone is asked for an effort. I realize is shuffled back through the pack. Further and beyond is racing on the extreme outside and blows the turn, but Divine Force into the lane with a commanding lead. The head cornerstone now beginning to nibble at it with Regal and Royal. It's Divine Force being driven flat to the boards. The stick comes out now in the right hand. The head cornerstone continues to make gains. A furlong to run. Divine Force just the leader. The head cornerstone cutting into it as they come past the 16th pole. It is Divine Force. The head cornerstone now sprouting wings on the outside, but Divine Force repels them all and wins. Tevin Foster digs deep here aboard the favorite Divine Force, repelling the outside challenge of ex-champion jockey Dane Dawkins with the head cornerstone. In his first start for 2024, Divine Force from the stables of the maestro Philip Fiani secures back-to-back -back wins. Scoring by a length and a quarter as the 4-5 to five favorite chased by the head cornerstone and winning the one-mile Linda de la Pena in 1.39 and 4 fifths. Six runners went in the Mercury Sprint and Elizabeth da Costa's three-year-old called Teflon Don with Robert Hardball Halladine riding for champion trainer Jason da Costa. The popular betting choice, not expected to lose and did not in what was a no contest. Teflon Don has been in charge from the off and attempts to go gate to wire. Bull Shadow will try to deny, but Teflon Don under a hand ride 
Halidin having a look between his legs, and the Teflon Don is just cruising as they leave the quarter pole behind them. Bold Shadow can't land a blow and needs to find several lengths along with the rest. Warrior Stomp may be third over the general down against the rail, but it's all over at this stage. A furlong to run. What can happen to stop Teflon Don from romping the Mercury Sprint? And nothing has happened so far. Inside the final 16th, it's all over. Teflon Don and Robert Halidin for Elizabeth Da Costa and Jason Da Costa. They win on a trot. Owned by Liz Da Costa and trained by her son Jason Da Costa, Teflon Don by casual trick out of the latest court, looking classy on debut, toying with the field under Halidin. Teflon Don wins the Mercury Sprint by nine and a quarter lengths over the 72 shot, the General, the winning time 101 and two fifths, four five for a long straight. Richie Azan's Laban was a favorite here on the inside with jockey Tevin Foster in the neon green and orange silks, but with work to do approaching the home stretch. As they come charging past the 516th, it's wide open. She's my friend and Abigail Abel on the rail. Rambling Rose kicking in on the outside. These two going at it. Taurus Boy looking for room in between them and finding it. Laban now wound up for a burst down against the rail. It is Rambling Rose, just a leader in the center. Watch Taurus Boy now kicking in and Taurus Boy now looks to have it. Laban is storming forward down against the rail. Get up, Pepsi now begins a charge and out wide. It's Green Goal Rush. It's anybody's race. Taurus Boy on the far side. Green Gold Rush nearest to us with Get a Pepsi. Green Gold Rush. Get a Pepsi. Green Gold Rush. A very tight finish here. Green Gold Rush, widest of all, snatching the wind by a neck over Get a Pepsi with Taurus Boy only a further half length behind in third. One of two wins on the afternoon for ex-champion jockey Dane Dawkins. Two Ash Wednesday trophy wins in three years as well for the 30-year-old jock who won in 2022 with DJ's Boy. A sixth lifetime win this for the PJR Racing Club's Green Gold Rush, scoring for trainer Dalton Serju and groom Cedric Hardware. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean men in the USA before we go. In the past week since our last show, I've counted 15 victories. Among them, three wins each in Florida for the Barbadian trainer Sapit Joseph Jr. and the Jamaican trainer Rowan Crichton. That happening between Tampa Bay Downs and Gulfstream Park where the Jamaican jockeys Anthony Thomas and Sean Bridgemohan won. Jamaican trainers Willoughby Simpson and Colin Mirage also won at Gulfstream Park. And there was a Wednesday double for the Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman at West Virginia's Charlestown Racetrack. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.